This channel and this channel on YouTube Shorts and TikTok are getting millions of views and thousands of subscribers just by telling stories with historical figures using the power of artificial intelligence. These two channels have absolutely exploded, going from zero to over 50,000 subscribers in five months. For example, this channel has collected over 19 million views in this period and earned around $30,000. As you can see, there are some serious money to be made with this type of videos. I will show you how to create these videos so you can attract views through social media. Let's go! First, go to this channel and choose a video. I'll choose this video, right click and select copy link address. Next, go to DapDap, which will allow you to transcribe the entire video, create an account, then click on studio. Afterward, click on transcription. Go to video link, paste the link you copied, and click on transcribe. DapDap will transcribe the entire video, presenting everything that is said in the video in front of you. Copy the entire text and go to ChatGPT and write, can you reword this? and paste the text chat GPT will provide you with a similar story to the one you provided. Once it's done, ask chat GPT to give you prompts to generate images for the entire story on Leonardo AI by typing this and clicking on enter. Now we're going to move on to image generation. The platform we'll be using is Leonardo AI. I will leave this script in the description box. Through this script, we will ask Leonardo AI to give us with hyper-real images. Copy the first prompt from chat GPT and paste it into the first part of the script as you see it here on Leonardo. After that, don't change anything in the settings. Next, click on Generate. Leonardo AI will generate the first image. Now let's move on to the second prompt. Copy the second prompt and paste it in place of the first prompt on Leonardo. Then click on Generate. It has given me good results and I've chosen two images for each generation. Here's the result it gave me and I like it. Next, do the same thing for the third prompt. Copy it and paste it into the first part of the script. Then click generate. The images look very realistic, continue in the same way. If the photo suits you, generate just one photo for each generation so that you can generate multiple images. You can ask Leonardo to generate an image while keeping the same character from another image Keep going in the same way, and if you're not satisfied with the results, start from the beginning until you find the images that suit you. Great. Now you can download all these images and number them as needed. Now let's move on to the voiceover. We're returning to DubTub. Then, click on Text to Speech. Choose a new file. Click on the speaker profile and type Alby Wood. In this section, choose this speaker, choose the chat style, then go back to ChatGPT. Copy the entire story and paste it into DubTub. Remove all spaces and finally click on preview to see the result. The situation even escalated beyond the problem of dual popes. So Good. Then click on export. To download the audio, choose MP3 and click on export. Now the important part, in this section, we will use the CapCut software. Add the audio you just downloaded and drag it into the timeline. Then remove the spaces in the audio so that the speaker doesn't pause while talking. Now select all the images that Leonardo AI generated and drag them into CapCut. Then drag the first image onto the timeline. After that, resize the image in the timeline by going to the aspect ratio and choosing 9 to 16 as a mobile phone size. Next, try to adjust the image size do the same thing for the other images and try to adjust them nicely on the screen. Now let's move on to transitions and animations. Go to transitions. Start with the left transition and add it between the two images. To apply an animation, click on the image. Go to the left side of the screen and click on animation. Apply the shake one animation. For the second image, choose right. Place it between the two images and select shake three as the animation. Honestly, try to choose transitions and animations that you think are more compatible with the subject and the images you have. For me, I like these transitions and animations that I applied. Let's see how it looks like now. In the 14th century, 
victory. Europe questioned the necessity of a singular pope and witnessed the Catholic Church immersed in turmoil. It was 1378. Now let's move on to the filters. To apply the filters, go to the filter section, choose the clear filter, and drag it into the timeline. Apply this filter to the entire project. Now let's move on to the effects. To apply the effects, go to the effects section, where you will find many effects. Honestly, I tried to select the effects that I found most suitable for my images. Look for the effect you like and apply it either to a single image or to multiple images at once. You can also apply two or more effects to a single image if you want. Now let's move on to subtitles. To apply subtitles, go to the text section at the top, then click on auto caption. Leave it set to English, check clear current. CapCut will automatically generate subtitles for the audio, then reduce the timeline and make sure you've selected all the subtitles. In the animation section, go to caption and choose the last option pop-up so that the subtitles will be displayed word by word. Next, increase the font size and change the font style to one called bangers. Try to play the video to check if the font size is suitable for the screen. If not, reduce it slightly until it fits the screen properly. Now let's move on to the final step, which is adding music. Music is crucial as it engages viewers and keeps them watching until the end of the video. I recommend using the website Toontank.com. You have three free music downloads per month, but we only need one. Click on Download to get the music, then add it to the CapCut timeline and reduce the volume to negative 10. And finally, in the 14th century, Europe questioned the necessity of a singular pope and witnessed the Catholic Church immersed in turmoil. It was 1378 in Avignon, France, when Pope Clement VII established his papacy, firmly asserting his legitimacy. However, Pope Urban VI in Rome was already wielding supreme pontifical authority. The landscape was filled with political strife. Subscribe to the channel if this video helped you. See you in the next one.